works, man. <laughs> um, are you ready? Let's do it. All right. Hey, Rockford Dick here. Today I'm joined by Matt from You Can Uke. Uh, and, and the title kind of says it all, right? You got the tiny guitar in your yeah. hand. Uh, but uh, tell me a little bit about yourself and about uh, your YouTube channel and kind of like what propelled you on this journey to uh, what? How many subscribers now? It's uh, over 450,000. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, over 40 million views. So it's definitely grown. It's only been. You know, almost four years. That's crazy. So, but you know, about how the channel runs, it's a channel where I release tutorials every single week, and the content of those tutorials runs from you know songs like Elvis Presley to yeah. Billy Eilish songs. And so, really, if you have a certain style or preference, or you know, you like a certain era of music, okay. you'll find all that on my channel. And my tutorials are really geared more for beginners. So, if you're trying sure. to jump into the ukulele. If you don't even know how to play a single chord, you can just jump into any of my tutorials. They're all independent of each other, so they don't really build upon each other. Okay. And you can just jump right in and just feel like you're tracking along. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. it's a really simple type of uh, format. You know, it's just tutorials and covers. And I just provide two types of content every single week. Nice. And yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot there. So, <laughs> um, but uh, it's a it's a blessing to be able to do this full time. Yeah, that's an awesome support my family through it. Yeah, and so how how did you find yourself first off like playing the ukulele, right? And then secondly, like what inspired you to start the YouTube channel, and what do you attribute your like insane growth to? Yeah, so ten years ago, I, I was attending college, okay. and I was a music major, and I had found on my college that there was a lot of students playing the ukulele. All right. And I've always been somebody that has grown up playing different instruments like piano, guitar, the drums, you know, there's a lot of instruments there, mm -hmm. but I've never really played this instrument before coming to college. So as I, as I saw kind of this trend of people playing, I thought, you know, I need to learn how to play this instrument too, because it looks interesting. Yeah. And I, I picked up a ukulele at a music store one day and just started looking up tutorials on YouTube. And I thought, this is really simple. And it was just a few years later that I decided to pay it forward and start creating content on my own ukulele channel. Okay. Uh, I, so know. most people that pick up an instrument though, like don't decide to start a tutorial channel on YouTube. Yeah. So like what, what was kind of like the driving inspiration or force behind deciding to take that step? So my wife, she used to nanny a girl that was in middle school. Okay. And this girl, she actually also picked up the ukulele and thought that she would pick it up because she saw her other friends playing it. Sure. And she didn't really have an outlet of where to learn songs. So my wife actually had this idea, why don't you put together a YouTube channel and maybe help her out? So I did that. <laughs> nice. And, you know, kind of sent that content to her. Yeah. And then... You know that those videos started catching more wind and traffic mm -hmm. and it made me start to think this could be more of a side business yeah and i was already working at a church while i was putting together my channel you know i was like a music pastor mm -hmm. and you know a few years later now i've been able to be at a point where i can just stay at home and create content full time that's awesome and it's it's amazing like even just being a part of a ukulele community you know in this pandemic a lot of people feel isolated yeah they're dealing with stress and anxiety and what's been great about this instrument is that it really serves as a tool mm -hmm. to help you cope with depression it's a very therapeutic type of tool so yeah. you not only just create music but you actually create a space and opportunity for you just to find relief and even support through the ukulele community at large. Super cool, man. Yeah. Super cool. Well, uh, for those that want to uh, tie in to what you're doing on YouTube and social media, like where can they go to get connected with you? Yeah, so you can find you can you on www.youtube.com uh, backwards slash c backwards slash you can you. That's my channel URL. Okay. And then I also I also provide additional resources that you won't find on my channel, such as chord charts even one-on-one -on -one lessons with me so that I can provide tailored content to a certain viewer or subscriber. Yeah. And that's through Patreon. And so uh, you can also find me on Patreon there, also under You Can You. And I also have a lot of social media accounts such as TikTok mm -hmm. and Instagram and Facebook. And I also provide other content that's very unique to those platforms as well. Awesome. So, but at the end of the day, all my content tries to be centered around just educating people yeah. about the ukulele, ukulele related stuff, 
um, because I want to just breed confidence in people to let them know that, hey, this might be a, an instrument that you think you can't play, but I'm going to show you that you can use. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks again, Matt, for taking the time to get yeah. together and chat. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Rocky, for tuning in. I just want to give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. Uh, it's because of their support. I'm able to sit down with amazing people like Matt here and tell you all about the wonderful people that live right in your own backyard in the 815. I'm bringing all this rock and positive content to you for free through the power of the internet. So thank you so much to them, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.